Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to... Welcome to life. Welcome to another day. You're alive. I'm alive. <laughs> and if you're not, hey, that's just, you know, that's the next evolution of things. There you are. In the ether. But to us on the planet Earth, alive, what's going on? How's it going? Have you been doing your meditation? Have you been doing your pull-ups? Have you been advancing yourself? Or have you been just staying in a fucking rut? Have you just been derping along in a day-to-day -day activity, watching fucking network television, mainstream media, eating processed carbs, and just derping the fuck along? Is that what you've been doing? Okay. Then just accept it. Then just admit that's where you're at. And that today's a new day. And that you, you have the ability to actually make a change. Or are you just listening to this being like, eh, fuck Luke. Nah, eh, don't like him. Nah. Eh. Okay, good. Then fucking turn it off and go watch something else. Nobody cares. Holy shit. Go to the doctor, say, oh, I'm sad. Get some fucking pills and start eating them. The next thing you'll know, you'll be 80. And that was your life. See ya. Okay? Um, it's funny, but like, there like almost is no limit to how like fucking hardcore and severe and savage you kind of can be on things. Like, there really almost isn't. Like, it's funny because I was watching uh, Brian Rose from London Real. If you haven't seen any of his stuff, obviously go check him out. London Real, go to his YouTube channel. Um, he has tons of cool interviews with people. Rich Piana, or sorry, not Rich Piana, uh, Dorian Yates. And uh, Dan Dan Pena, I guess is how you say his name. But uh, he, he just recently put an interesting thing where he says, he spent a lot of time with Dan Pena, who is like, quote unquote, like the $50 billion man or something. He's worth like billions of dollars. He's an American guy, but he lives in, I think he lives in Scotland now. And he's like kind of known for his quite like brutal and like severe mentality on things. And like generally speaking, I love it. Like generally speaking, I always love that type of mentality over the mediocre, over the mainstream, right? Because again, there there almost is nothing worse than the mainstream than just fucking apathy, than just derping through your life, than just like watching fucking network television and thinking that type of behavior is okay. That shit's insane, like right. So he has this mentality, and and Brian Rose anyway, who's kind of tight with Dan Pena and is. Even made a movie about him. Made like a documentary about him. And he was saying how... One of the things that Dan talks about is... Going through your phone... <laughs> and calling everyone in your list. And telling them... Uh, please don't... I will, or he says, I will no longer be call, taking your calls... Please delete my number. Goodbye. <laughs> and this is what he recommends. And it's like, because he's saying this, like, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, so you need to spend your time with five fucking high-level people and constantly be trying to get more and more high-level because that's how life works, right? That's how a tree grows. That's how a fucking lion hunts, blah, blah, blah. And in theory, yes, like, fundamentally speaking, I do like that idea. But there's kind of some things that I don't quite, doesn't quite resonate with me fully. Like, just for example, like, like the chances of you being able to get your shit together are so low. That for you to call all these people and let them know, like, in some big, like, statement, like, I'm going to make a lot of changes and you're not going to make, you're not part of my new life, like... Something about that speaks to the idea that, motherfucker, you probably won't even be able to do that. So just shut up. Just shut the fuck up and actually make the changes. And then it won't matter. You won't be, those people won't be contacting you anymore anyway. 
because you'll be too much, you'll be too different, you'll have changed, and they won't want to be a part of it because it's going to scare them, right? And they'll talk shit about you behind your back, but they won't reach out to you because they don't want to be a part of it. They don't want to feel uncomfortable. That's sort of more where I come from. Um, but generally speaking, I do like that idea. Um, even again, like some, there is something sometimes that I feel with some of these like hyper, hyper financial guys and they are financial guys. Like Brian Rose came from the financial world. Fucking Dan Pena comes from the financial world. Like there is a little bit of something with these guys where I sometimes feel like, did you add, like, can you do mushrooms please? Like, can you please just go to the jungle and drink ayahuasca? Just, just to, to, so I know what the fuck is going on. Like, can you, can you get a little balanced out? I'm, I'm not saying making millions or billions of dollars is bad. I'm not saying that. It's fucking amazing. That's awesome. But maybe, maybe, maybe some mushrooms might balance you out. I don't know. Just maybe. So, anyway. Not to say I don't have fucking any millions of dollars. So, maybe my fucking point of view is retarded and he doesn't care i'm sure he doesn't i'm sure uh dan Pena would be like what the fuck is this long-haired idiot saying fuck off make a million dollars this year so who knows take it with a grain of salt but anyway that's that's uh my opinion on that just something i saw recently so i figured i'd just rattle off on it other than that um has anyone been doing their meditations like holy shit Feels like sometimes I'm the only one out here doing it. And if I am, which I, I'm not, there are people doing it. But it's like, who cares? And I guess I'm the only one advancing in that way, right? It's like, it's like free money. It's like you doing meditation every day is like free money. It's like you're constantly advancing your program. It doesn't even cost you anything and you can just keep doing it forever. It's like doing push-ups or something. It's like no one can stop you. Just do the fucking push-ups. Who cares? You're gonna, you know, it's the right thing to do, so do it. Um, because it's so hard to know in life a lot of times. Like, what is the right thing? It's so fucking hard. Like, we're constantly being faced with shit that's like obscure, and it's like we don't know, and we think it's right, and then it turns out to be not right. So, when we know something's cool and is the right direction, let's just hammer home on it a hundred percent. Pull-ups, fucking deadlifts, meditation. These are all the things you want to be doing. Okay? Other than that, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing in this life? We're all existing. We're all attempting to grow. We're all attempting to advance in some way. I know I am. And it's weird because I think that we all get... We all go through, like, cycles of, like, feeling discouraged at times. Like, feeling, like, what's the point sometimes? I know I do. I feel like, fuck. Like, what is the fucking point? Like, I'm doing an hour meditation a day, and, like, no matter how many, no matter how much I do that, like, there's still, like, my, like, family members will still be like, that's stupid. Nah. And it's like, there's still people who, no matter what were to happen, would still never believe in it. And it is discouraging, but... I guess over time, for me anyway, I realized that like the, the people who say that, they just, they don't know. Like they don't know any better, right? They just have no clue, none. It's like the guy who grew up in like, in like uh, the church of fucking Mormonism or something. And he's just like, Jesus created the world fucking 150 years ago or whatever their thoughts, whatever their religion is, like blah, blah, blah. John Smith got magical tablets from outer space, da, da, da. And it's like until he gets away from that and starts getting a little more knowledge and a little more enlightened, he's not going to be able to know the difference. And he's just going to always be like, oh, I guess fucking John Smith was the one who talked to Jesus. It's almost in a way like not even his fault. Like, how's he going to know? So if you listen to that person and that guy's like, Luke, shut the fuck up. We know that it was... John Smith, who created fucking Jesus and learned from Jesus, blah, blah, blah. It's like, if I listen to him, isn't that a bit unfair? Because I already, it's like, we know that he doesn't have a good really frame on things. So why should I then pay attention to him? I really shouldn't. I think I've talked about that once before when I said, <clears throat> I said, um, 
It's like uh, it's like Elon Musk, you know. It's like Elon Musk who's trying to populate Mars and like make us an interplanetary species, and he has like plans for like a spaceship and stuff. And it's like him walking down the street and some homeless guy just being like, "Hey, Elon Musk, fuck you and your stupid space program. That's retarded." And then Elon Musk is like, oh, "Really? Really? It's stupid. Why?" And the homeless guy is like, you're a fucking idiot, Elon. Your, your space program's never going to work. Your spaceship's stupid. And Elon's like, oh, oh my God, no. Like, I didn't realize that. Oh, shit. Now I have to stop it then. I have to stop this whole program. This guy told me my fucking spaceship is stupid. Oh, my God. The whole thing is stupid. Now I have to shut it all down. And it's like, it really is that dumb. It's like, it's so inappropriate for Elon Musk to sit there and pay attention to truly what that, like, homeless fucking junkie's saying. The guy doesn't know. Yes, he's struggling with his own issues, and I hope he gets over them somehow. I hope he goes drink and drinks Ibogaine and, uh, and learns about how to give up opium or whatever his prob the junkie's problem is. But it's not appropriate for Elon Musk to take his opinion seriously. Like, he has to just be like, okay, you don't know, like, I can't afford to listen to you, I have an important mission, we're done here, goodbye. And that's try how I try to look at it, right? It's like, people will say, like, it's like, okay, so how is it that some people hit me up and are like, oh man, Luke, thank you, dude, like, thank you for really just giving, like, an honest portrayal of things, and thank you for, like, kind of making, like, meditation accessible to the average fucking bro, idiot, or whoever, like, thank you for that. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, then what about the same p other people who said, like, fuck you, Luke, you're so stupid and I hate you and you're so dumb. It's like, it's like, in a way, like, I, I know the truth. Like, I know that what I'm doing is in the right direction. So it's good to hear people say they like it. I'm not, I don't attach that much value to it. It's still nice. But those people who say, like, it's all stupid, like, in the same way, like, yeah, all right, like, I'll try to take some, like, I'll try to take, like, some benefit from their opinion. Like, I'll try to take a little bit of insight from that. But fundamentally, I can't really take a lot of time and just sit there and really, truly listen to them. It's, it's pointless. Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, so this is about it. Like, those are some of the main things. Um, I hope some of you have been advancing down this path because maybe someday you will be able to make your own videos or maybe you want to start now or maybe you want to start meditating or start, or start like, reading books or start trying to, like, associate with people in a better way. And that would be awesome because we all need to do that. And maybe in, like, 20 years... I'll have more than fucking uh, 10 views on a video, <laughs> right? Or maybe one of you can figure out how to do that, and you can hit me up, and you can be like, Luke, you, you need a, I know an obvious way that you can, like, make money, or I know an obvious way that you can, like, that we can collaborate and improve your videos or some shit. Hit me up. I'm, I'm expecting the universe to provide some of these collaborations for me. Because that is the way. I'm in alignment with the way. <laughs> so therefore, this should manifest. AKA, if you look this much like fucking Denzel Washington, then obviously you're going to become successful. Could you imagine? What if what if Denzel grew his hair out like I have? That'd be cool. Although he probably wouldn't get the... He'd probably have more like the fro hair. But still... Who knows? Maybe maybe it would look cool. I always think that. Like, what if what if he just grew a fucking crazy beard? What if like what if Tom Cruise just grew a fucking beard like this? What if he just grew his hair way out? Why not? It'd be good for a laugh. But probably he has to do it he has to keep his hair certain ways for movies and stuff. Anyway <laughs> I digress. Let's let's uh let's give up on the Hollywood gossip. Alright, there you go. That's fifteen minutes. That's a that's a quick quarter hour sesh. For you people out there, uh, keep hammering at your shit. Go watch every fucking video I made. Um, go watch whatever you want. Go watch Joe Rogan. Go watch Rich Piano. Watch uh, Tyler and Julian from RSD. Watch fucking London Real. Listen to Alan Watts, Terrence McKenna. 
um you know what i mean all these legends there's so many legends out there so so it's the best time in the world to learn shit turn off mainstream television turn off network news turn off fucking prank videos turn off junkies turn off fucking booze turn off pills eliminate fucking negative degenerates eliminate people who gossip get that the fuck going and start doing that every single day make a little move in the right direction every single day and you know what in a couple years you'll be way 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 down a different path a positive path a successful path and you yourself one day one day <laughs> you yourself can maybe be as cool as me <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Anyway, that's all for today. Everyone have a good one. Peace out.